is your boy JD back with another video here to talk about what? The narcissist. Man, shit. First off, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't be missing that. That's my right there for your ass. Second off, that narcissist ain't shit. That narcissist will never be shit for your ass. I can never stress that enough. I cannot stand good, good for nothing ass. Narcissist ain't shit. Anywho, the title of this video is now Being with this good for nothing narcissist will never be shit. They ain't gonna want some shit for your ass. And doing another killing your way. If you do not get my chest, you will right now. Let's get that thing. Being with this good for nothing else will never be shit. They go once again. It's killing your ass. What I mean by is what I see. It's killing your ass. See, every day you go on through depression, anxiety, all types of shit. Like, like I said in one video, I'm with this good for, with the good for nothing else. I I had to build a bleeding ulcers and all types of shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just bleeding all types of ways and stuff. So you get me this, you get what I'm saying? I'm like, what is going on with me, no? Just, you know what I'm saying? Back is hurting and stuff like that, all types of shit. Lower back problems, all types of shit is going on with my ass. I had all types of elements. I could not stress it enough. That no, it's especially the elements by my ass. I could tell you this, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stick up in this habit, because it's not a relationship. It's not a relationship, it's a habit all day. Toxic as hell, man. As I said in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, in the videos, that the family of the narcissist, they ain't not shit as well. They are not shit. They ain't go once again. I still stand on that. None of them sons of bitches and shit. They ain't go once again. I cannot stress it enough. You know why? Because them sons of bitches, look, you know what I mean? They knew this narcissist was trying to stood for destruction and that extra shit. That's why they push your nose stuff on your head. That's why they're so happy you took the nose. Them sons of bitches ain't shit. They ain't going once again. I can't, I can't, I can't stand some sons of bitches. Anywho, well, if you are in this heaven, they ain't going to make up your way. Okay, you going through this gist of it. Nose is just dogging your ass out, ridiculing your ass daily, okay? That's what you get. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me the narcissist is showing you love with that 24-24 because that would be a lie. You know what I'm saying? If the narcissist is doing that, then the narcissist is not a narcissist. That is there. The narcissist is an empath. I cannot stress that enough. Do you get what this is what I'm saying? That narcissist, okay, will only give you a conditional love. That is there for your ass. And a little give and a little take. You get what this is what I'm saying? You can be intimate and whatnot with this good for nothing ass narcissist the night before, then the next day you wake up that narcissist and act like nothing and never happened with y'all ass. So you get it. The gist, do you get what I'm saying? That's the part that's just that's kind of destroying you too, to think about it, because what would happen with your ways? Okay, you woke up and you know it was just, it was a rock and roll. Ladies, fellas, it doesn't matter, I guess it's a rock and roll. You wake up the next day and now the narcissist act like you ain't with nothing. Yeah, like, what, like, what is that kind of type of shit right there for your ass? The narcissist is dogging your ass out to the narcissist. The value is just feeling, God, God damn it, narcissist. I mean, I, 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 what happened? That type of shit right there for your ass. See, the whole gist is, the sons, the first of all, let me go back to it. The sons of bitches are special as hell, and they go for your ass as well. You know what I'm saying? You can't, they, 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 can't, they can't be too intimate. With antibody. You know what I'm saying? They don't even love themselves, so they ain't love your ass. So it's like, even if the road was rocky, it was a rocky night or whatnot, the next night was like you wasn't shit to that narcissist. Why? Because the narcissist didn't just stay vulnerable in that state as such. See, that narcissist feel like you got run up on the narcissist or something because it was a rocky road. So the narcissist like, looking at your ass, you know, when was a night. You got one up on the narcissist stuff and you too happy because of the, the night was rocky or something. So what the narcissist gonna do? The narcissist gonna knock that shit right over the pot your ass and then start talking and dogging your ass out, projecting their emotions on your ass. That's the gist. If you didn't know, now your ass know. That's why you get that shit. That's why you got, well, not that it, narcissist. What happened? Well, what happened was the narcissist can't stay vulnerable and good such because they look at that as a weakness. You know what I'm saying? When, it's Christ like all damn day, you know what I'm saying? Them sons of bitches that shit and will never be shit. That's why I say God shows us some mercy every day. And that's such as he did Jezebel. Good for nothing else. 
What I mean by is what I said. Like he gave us so many chances, like I said, with both of the pair she had with us. That's such as the Norris. They both Norris. Norris is Norris is all Norris is all together. They all rock in the same spirit. They really just the same. So and that's such as the, the Lord will keep making his look for nothing as Norris is up. You know, just to repent and you know, over the chicken. But that's not the big thing. Do that, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't feel they do anything else. Because they ain't doing it justified. I told you that the God, what God called them, the Lord, they called them fools and shit. That they, they want to be cute and this and that and the other. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, they envy and despise God, really, you know what I'm saying? Because think about it, everybody prayed to him, everybody goes to God with times of need and stuff like that. I say to you this way, brother. Don't just go to God with times of need. You go to God, well, there ain't no time to need. You happy that day. I just tell you, happy because God has given you that happiness and joy. You know what I'm saying? You may catch yourself. You may hear a song or something come on the radio. You get the judging or something. Get to turn it up up in that thing. And then, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not the spirit of God right there. And that's not that joy. And then what happened? The devil walk right up in there and say, Nothing else, nonsense. Knock that shit right over and up the back door. The nonsense can't stand that shit because the nonsense can't. That is what your good for nothing ass chose to be. That's what your good for nothing ass, good for nothing ass want to be. That's a, that's, that's, that's a career for that son of a bitch. That's this destruction and destroying winners. Trying to get somebody to just harm themselves. That will never happen up in this time. I cannot stress enough. You don't want to say that you got God in there. The high power is going to talk to you. High power do not talk to the good for nothing. It will never be shit. You know how I know? Because if the Lord talk to them good for nothing, they wouldn't treat them in such a way. They would know you are the Lord, the other one. So you follow God's law. You treat the Lord how you want to be treated. The only thing is, you're not getting treated, treated back the same way. You keep finding yourself catering and catering, constantly treating the Lord how you want to be treated, and the Lord is shit, you know, right? So, because it's a vulnerability to that narcissist. The narcissist will let you like you be. When the good for nothing ass narcissist, you will never be shit. To look at it like you know you love this good for nothing ass narcissist. That's why I can't stand it, son of a bitch. That's why I can't stand it, son of a bitch. There's so many people in the world, huh? That, 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 that want a, a, a solid person. You know what I'm saying? Someone who's real solid, they think the game is paper food. All this doing shit, being around the roses, living around and shit. Who knows? All that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And you, 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 you stumble across a good for nothing who, who will never be shit ass narcissist, okay? Some bitch that hate for fool with your ass, mirrored you, acted the way your ass is acting in the first encounter. Twist is in, you fall for the hype, and now you're locked and trying to bond with and heaven forbid if it did happen, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If he, he gave you good for nothing kids and shit. Now, now you gotta deal with this good for nothing. Now you really feel like you're trauma bond and locked up in that thing, but you're not. I cannot stress that enough. You have the power to leave and walk away. You know what I'm saying? And that's that narcissist got you in the state of, like I said, last few years, where they depending on that narcissist. Take your power back. You can do the shit. It ain't nothing you can't do through Christ's stress to do. I have been there and done it as well. I'm trying to tell you something. Us as well, okay? I, I have done it. We, we find ourselves, we stress, we stress our own ass out over shit that we really ain't got no control of. God is in control of everything. We really just do that. Okay? See, if we relax, we let that shit go right there for your ass. It's going to work itself out anyway, and all I want to do, I can't stress it enough. I have been to so all kinds of shit and stuff in my head, stressing it out and stuff. And then next thing I know, the shit just loops and stuff out. I'm like, what the shit is this? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Give it to God and let God handle that shit. And then, and then go to sleep. 
you know what I'm saying? You wake up the next day happy. Who gives a damn? Be happy all day, every day. That narcissist can kiss your ways. Because you know that's what the narcissist wants to do. The narcissist wants to destroy your ways. It's destroy you for as it is the character of you. The, the, the happy part of something. You know, the, the, the self confident you. All oh, that. That's what that narcissist wants to tear up inside your way. That's a lie. Because that would never happen. Because where does he live? He has to make sure you the world. And I stress it enough. You're strong as hell. You're stronger than you think you are. You just thinking that the narcissist got the upper hand. The narcissist don't have the upper hand. It's, it's, it's losing ties to yourself. I've been there and done that. I cannot talk about nobody else. Okay? Can I do that? But I can tell you where I, I just been there and did the shit. The narcissist wants your ass to think like that. It's that is a lie of the next time. I cannot stress it up. You always got yourself. You always got God on you. Everything. See, that's what I'm saying. For us, we get the best. It does. We, we get so impatient and we, and we rush ourselves into things and we rush into things and we buy our business and shit. Just saying that we, we trauma bonded ourselves and got a lot. Trauma bond is really like this a bit of what's sweet, like I said before. It's a roller coaster ride. That's a natural ass lot. You want to leave the narcissist, but then the narcissist. Back nice, and then, like I said last video, when you try to leave the narcissist, you gotta drag the narcissist all around the house and shit. That type of shit right there for your ass, and some bitch don't want your ass to go. The narcissist really don't want you to go. That is the truth. All day, you're great, hey. You're kind of going out. If the narcissist leaves your ass, then what the narcissist gonna do? Yeah, I guess it's that. Where that narcissist went out there? Wherever. That narcissist is dogging at the grind. He really just needs a friend. That the, the new supply always, which they ain't never need, just need new ones. But that supply always gets it worse. And why? Because that supply is. Oh, hey! Can I stress it up? The narcissist cannot stop thinking about your ways. Every day, all day, the narcissist wake up thinking about your ways. I can say it one day. Go to sleep, thinking about your ways. Eating cereal, dinner, lunch, thinking about your ways. Like, there it is, there. I can't stress it up. Why? Because look at yourself and be the winner. However long you stay in that habit with that good for nothing, the thoughts can never forget your choice. Just like the devil can never forget God. He is a I can tell you one thing, you can never forget nobody who did nothing good to you, whatever you did, nothing to show you kindness and, and great things. And like you wrong the narcissist, you made the narcissist what the narcissist is. The narcissist ain't forgot that shit. That narcissist know it. That's why the narcissist is so mad, because why you ain't ran up to this? For nothing ass losses, but your ass will never do it. I look at it like I said, losses. You dog out the winners and treat the winners like shit, and then discard whatever the rest who gives a damn. It ain't real because the sons of bitches ain't shit. They always want your ass back because you're a winner and you always heal and rise and fold the things. That is there. That's the whole gist behind it. So the sons of bitches see the healing and shit. And see, like, as soon as your ass did the recuperate or something, here come these sons of bitches knocking that shit. You see, he's got the glow and everything back. That narcissist can kiss your ass. All narcissists can kiss my ass. They ain't go for your ass. I can't stand no sons of bitches. I get the sons of bitches in my comments sometimes. I ain't stressing it enough. You know how I know it's the, the, the narcissist. Why? Because that's the only son of bitches saying some, some shitty shit to my ass. I kiss a man. I guess that. Thank you for the shit and shit comment. I guess that. That don't deter me. That would never change me or sway me from my mission. We get to just be get the same. I am here to wake your ass up and let you know that them narcissists ain't shit and they will never be shit for your ass. I'm real on this channel. I'm not like them other channel. Them sons of bitches ain't shit. They go right down. I'm not finna sugarcoat nothing for your ass. I'm keeping 1,000 with your ass. That is the whole purpose of this narcissist, of being with your ass. It's just trying to destroy your ass, break your spirit, have you feel like you ain't shit, and you worthless. Let me tell you something, JC never felt like that. Jesus was perfect. He was drunk, you know what I'm saying? They came in his ass all the time, every day, spit on, crucified, too, none of that. You know what I'm saying? He never swayed with your ass. All of us got a purpose in life. Like I said, get to the narcissist, but the narcissist never. Why? Because the narcissist is 
Anywho, keep your heads up all day every day. 